guys. I wanted to walk through the business of setting up the amplifier for Project Two. So, uh, first of all, the schematic for the amplifier set is quite simple. We've got the LM358. Um, we're only going to use it's a it's a dual amplifier. It actually has two amplifiers built into the chip, but we're only going to be using one of them. So, the the business of the first amplifier it, it's just pins one, two, and three. One is the output. Two is the converting input. And three is going to get its signal from the function generator on the gun. So we're going to send in that uh, triangle sort of sawtooth sort of waveform. Uh, it says here a volt, but I'm going to say let's make it between half a volt and three quarters of a volt um, because we're going to double it. And you can do this to stable at two volts or the nano to get it measured. Or actually, no, come to think of it, we'll be using the same thing. So we'll do that in a minute. We'll do one volt. I forgot we were using this. So we're just using the nano for. oscilloscope to monitor the input and output voltages. Okay, so I'll show you how that what that looks like here in a second. <clears throat> but the idea is you need to pick these two resistors. Uh, I'll go over the mechanism that makes this work in lab tomorrow. The short answer is it all goes back to this equation. I've got a blank here. Right there, that guy. That is that really explains everything except it doesn't explain anything because it's an equation. So it's understanding how that equation works and how it relates to the, the properties of the amplifier. That's what we're looking at here. So um, okay, so I have actually gone ahead and set up this circuit. I want to point out um, obviously this is the nano. Let's see if I can find my book here. Um, this is the this black right here, that's the ground that goes here to the ground pin of the amplifier, pin 4. It's also connected to the uh, ground to this wire, this blue wire, connects that same column to the ground power supply rail, and then um, this wire, this other blue wire here to the side, this one, if you get it in the camera view, that's going to be the ground for the incoming signal from the function generator and also for the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope and the function generator both need to agree on ground. So you've got a commitment both to the same ground and it has to be the same as the ground for the for the amplifier and for the nano. The amplifier is going to get power from this little red guy here. That's going to pin 8. So I've got pin 8 here on the amplifier. That's going to go to the 3.3 volt pin over here on the nano. That's 3.3 volts. Here's the ground pin on the nano. That ground is going to go here to the ground pin of the amplifier and to this ground up on the nano. And then these two resistors, those correspond to um, to those two resistors in the feedback loop, right? So the idea is, no, that's not what I want to show you. The idea is that um, this resistor R3 and this resistor R2 determine the overall closed loop gain said, I'll, I'll explain how that works uh, when we get into the lab tomorrow. So let's take a peek at how this work comes. Okay, so now we've got the uh, input to the oscilloscope hooked up. Um, that's coming in on uh, pin 3 of the amplifier. And we've also, uh, the output now is also hooked up, but there's no output because I don't have any power to the, to the Artemis Nano. The Artemis we're just using the Artemis to give this a 3.3 volts on its regulated output. So I'm going to plug the power into the Artemis. Boom, there it goes. And there you have it. We've got the amplified signal. If I, uh, if I turn up the amplitude of that input, you can see it also turns up the amplitude of the output. Um, if I dial the amplitude down, it takes the amplitude of the output down. And I can also, with the signal generator, I can shift the level. So I can lower it and raise it. And that also lowers and raises the output. So you see how that works. I'm going to try to get it back to the trigger level again here. Okay, whoop. Okay, 
there we go. So now it's uh, it's fairly stable. Let's dial up the amplitude just a little bit more to give a better trigger. Okay, and there you have it. <clears throat> so that is the LM358 doing a times two. Um, we check the times, let's just check the peak of one of those triangle waves. We put it right at, we're at uh, 200 millivolts per division. <clears throat> so if the peak of a triangle of the input is right at that two, uh, 400 millivolts, right? It's two divisions above ground. Ground is one division below the bottom of the screen. So two divisions above ground, that's 400 millivolts at the peak of the input signal. Where is it at the peak of the output? Well, the output is four divisions above ground. That's twice as high. So that's a gain of two. So it's at, uh, what, 800 millivolts, I guess, 800 millivolts for the output. Um, another way to think about that is uh, it looks like the input has an average voltage of 288 millivolts and the output has an average voltage of 577. Uh, let's see, 280, that would be uh, 560. So add 16 to that, that's 576. So that's pretty darn close to two, two times. So there you go. All right, talk to you guys soon.